I'm going to tank a hit for the purpose of getting some brave charge. And I didn't tank a hit at all. What I should have done is put my focus talisman in. Look at that, we're already in. This charge too damn fast, this brave gauge. I love it. to avoid that so I wonder how well we can actually maintain the gauge that's the true way to play oh that looks really good <laughs> I was hoping I could get away with a zero charge. He's gonna hit me here a bit. No. Oh no 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 no. Good we've got uh fire blight protection with the Dread King. reason I didn't get the advance advance off. There we go. Hopefully this will break its back. Some of the uh, charge times are throwing me off a little bit. It's fun. Fun to um, see the difference. <laughs> Wrecked me. <laughs> well done, I'll pay that. Yeah, what's happening with my charges here? Feels weird. Wanted to wanted to do the moon break on him and knock him out of that. That would have been pretty sick looking if I pulled it off. Not enough time to anticipate. Okay, we're in pre-brave mode again. So even with like mediocre play, you can keep the brave mode in effect pretty long. So that's cool. Oh, that's right. Oh, crap. <laughs> Can't commit to anything with the danger of that hip check. How come I'm not getting my full charge? I think what's happening is it's my um, X button. Yeah. I'm making a point of holding it down harder now because my X button's not been very responsive in recent weeks. That's what's happening. So I've got to be... Like, I've got to put, like, extra pressure down and keep it pressurized for when I'm doing, like, hammer, bow, greatsword. Bit of a pain. Oh.
going to get him before he had a chance to respond. But that was the exit, damn it. Yeah, some people like the nub. Like, I've got the new 3DS. I don't like it. It's... I mean, like, I liked it when it was brand new. It's just it's worn down and it's useless now. It's staying up longer than I expect. And the thing is, my first portable Monster Hunter was Monster Hunter 4, and I had it on a... Cat's taking my glory every time. I had it on a regular 3DS, so I actually put thousands of hours into that game using the on-screen D-pad and gotten used to it. It's one of the best on-screen D-pads in 3DS games, in my opinion. And yeah, Capcom might know a fair bit about making that technology work well because apparently the touch controls on the iOS versions of Freedom Unite supposed to be really good as well, so good stuff. Okay, so that was a Basarios. I don't think there was too many other quests that weren't unlocked yet. There's a... Oh cool, there's a village Lavazioth to do. So if that's available, I reckon that's going to unlock some more 8 stars. But if it's not available, I reckon this quest's going to unlock a whole bunch. I should have read those messages that just went through to me. Yep. Looks like this has unlocked some stuff. Yeah, because, yeah, that's right. In the story, they're talking about... I think they're talking about this was helping... I don't actually know. Well, maybe it was helping. Let's read. Let's find out. Okay, so the motive force gained out of these these ores has provided a bunch of sealed energy more better than what he anticipated. So it looks like we're on the right path. So they've been able to speed up the blimp. Sorry to always be asking you to do stuff, but we've got a quest for three monsters. Ah yeah, here we go. So here's some more keys. Plesioth, Lavazioth, Nagakuga. Alright, I think we get the gist. Plesi, Lavazi, Nagi. 